When we draw a cube in one point perspective, the viewpoint that we are drawing is that of this front face of the cube. So that's why we start with a shape. Then we take these lines to the vanishing point, like this. Each edge of the cube goes back to that vanishing point to show that it's going off into the distance and give it depth. So once we have these three lines, then we go in and cut off the cube to the size that we want. Now this cube is equal in all of its sides, so on here I'm just going to estimate a little bit about right there, and I'll use my triangle to make that line. For this top line, I'm going to turn my page and create the top line. So that's a cube in one point perspective. But what happens if you're looking at your cube and you're not looking at that front face? You're looking at that corner right here, the leading edge. If you have that viewpoint, you're going to use two-point perspective in your drawing to show the depth. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So we'll get a new piece of paper, and we're going to create a horizon line just like we did with the one-point perspective. We'll turn it this way. You have your horizon line on there. Now, instead of starting with a shape like this one for the one point, we're going to start with a line because that's the leading edge. So I'm going to take my triangle and I'm going to create the leading edge of my cube, just like that. I'm going to give myself a, um, two vanishing points now because two point perspective has two vanishing points. Okay, so I've got my horizon line Vanishing point one, vanishing point two. We can even label them. Okay, now that I have my leading edge, I need to figure out how to draw my cube. So if I go back to that cube, I can see these top lines here are gonna have to go to the vanishing points. This here is gonna have to go to a vanishing point. So in order to do that, I'm gonna take my ruler and take the top of that line and go to each vanishing point. Like that. And like that. Okay, and if we look at the cube again, it also has these bottom lines that are gonna to go to the vanishing point. So now I'm gonna take the bottom lines and connect those. both vanishing points. Okay, now here's where it gets a little complicated. On the one point perspective where we decided how uh, long this edge was for the cube, I need to do the same thing on this one. So I'm going to just kind of estimate right here. Okay, I also need to estimate on the other side as well. Like that. Now, these two here are going to go back to the vanishing point, only they're going to go to the opposite vanishing point. So if you think about this cube, and you imagine this line here, it's going to go to the opposite vanishing point, and this one here to the opposite. So we'll take our ruler, line it up, go to the opposite vanishing point there, and then the same thing over here. Okay, now where you've decided those, that cube ends, we need to have some parallel lines there with, with this line right here. So in order to do that, we can take our triangle and we can create that line, slide the triangle over to the other side, and now you have drawn your cube in two-point perspective. 
because you are looking at this leading edge and wanting to make a drawing that represents this cube from the viewpoint of looking at the leading edge.